We are going to be adding fractions today as requested by George and as you can see these fractions have different denominators which makes adding slightly harder. Now we have two thirds adding on to one quarter today. Now to start off the process of adding these fractions we need to find the lowest common denominator or the lowest common multiple. And to do this, we normally multiply the denominators together. So I'm going to change them into equivalent fractions by doing this. So I'm going to multiply the 3 by 4. So 3 times 4 makes 12. And they're both going to end up with 12 on the bottom so that we can add our fractions together. And to go from the quarter to so many twelfths, I need to times it by my other denominator. Now, whatever you do to the bottom when you do fractions, you have to do to the top. So to go from the three to the 12, I multiplied it by four, which means to go from the two to get an equivalent fraction, I also need to multiply it by four. So two, lots of four, is eight. Now onto the second fraction. To go from the four to the 12, I had to multiply it by three. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So I'm going to multiply the 1 by 3 and I'll get 3. So the proportions are still the same but the fractions look different. I've got 2 thirds add a quarter and that's the same as 8 twelfths add 3 twelfths. And now we need to add them together. This is the really easy part. Whenever we add two fractions together with the same denominator, we always keep the denominator the same and we add the numerators together. So eight add three is 11. So your answer to the question is 11 twelfths.